good. Uh, great, Vanessa. Thank Thanks, you. Vanessa. My name is Tara Rubin. to cast the original company of the play, find the actors, uh, the singers, the dancers, if it's a musical. And then, during the run of the show, we are kept on to maintain the company. I like to think that we are a part of the creative process. Like the sound designer designs the sound, a set designer designs the set. I like to think that we are designing the cast that's going to be on the stage. I didn't always want to be a casting director because I didn't know that casting directors existed, but I did know that I wanted to work in the theater. I thought I wanted to be an actress. I went to Boston University to their drama school. It was pretty clear after the first year that I was not really cut out to be an actor. I think if I had known that there were so many great jobs that you could do in the theater, apart from being an actress, I probably would have never pursued acting. I would have saved a little time. My first job in casting was working at a very prestigious casting company called Johnson Liff Associates. And I started there as their assistant and I stayed there for 15 years. My first day I set up appointments for the original company of Les Mis. And I had just, I had listened to the cast recording um, from the London production, and I couldn't believe how exciting this music was. And then the show was successful. We cast four, I think, or five companies of it while I was at Johnson Lift. After I started my own company and Johnson Lift closed their company, I took over casting Les Mis when there was a tour out at that time. And then I cast a revival of it in 2007. Now I'm casting a new production of Les Miserables. Um, there's a new set, new design, in many ways a different approach to telling the story. I usually start my research with the director's previous work and I start to think about the plays that I might have seen that he or she directed. I start to think about the actors that, you know, have worked with that director before. Do you have a sense of... These binders contain the audition notes. They describe what an actor sang or read um, and our impression of that audition. So obviously that information is confidential. So it becomes sort of like a library of information about actors. This is the Lemus Kids, it's called, and it goes back to 1986. So it's all the children who have auditioned for Les Mis through the years. And we found uh, Laura Bell Bundy. Um, we found Jared Spector, who's currently playing Frankie Valley on Broadway. Brandy Brown. Christina Ricci canceled her audition, so we had her in our notes. So this was sort of a fun uh, trip down memory lane. The first thing we would do would be read the script or listen to music, if it's a musical and begin to have conversations with the creative team about what's the world we're creating with, a, with, with this play, what's the story that we're telling, um, and you know, what will the, the values of that production be. So It's important for a casting director to always have the project be the primary focus. So there may be actors that I love more than the actors who are being cast in the play, but I, I always try to be in service of the director's imagination. That's what I always say, you know, um, rather than my imagination or my, my vision. Sometimes I have an idea that was not in the director's mind that actually enhances what the director might have been thinking, and that's very good when that happens. We have what we call equity required auditions so that all members of Actors Equity have an opportunity to audition for the play. After that round of auditions then we begin auditions for actors who are represented by agents, actors that we know of who we would like to see for the project. The final casting session is obviously a pressured day for everybody, for me, for the actors, and that's when the discussions begin. Sometimes there's a, a lot of agreement, sometimes there's a lot of disagreement. That's the most important collaboration we do, I think, is on the final day. Replacing 
celebrities on Broadway is a huge part of what we do and possibly the most difficult thing that we do because once an actor is extremely successful in a role, very few stars want to take it on. I would say The Producers was the hardest show that we recast over the years. Nathan Lane and Matthew Broderick were so amazing in those roles that it was very difficult to find actors who wanted to step into it. The challenge in replacement casting is finding people who maintain the original template of the cast from that original company. And that what's special and exciting about the replacement actor becomes a part of, now gets to become part of the show. I feel so blessed that we get to work on so many different types of things. We, we cast plays, contemporary plays for Yale Repertory Theater. We cast revivals. We cast original productions. We always say they cross-pollinate. The people who uh, we meet at auditions for Yale Rep end up being exciting people to put into the into Mamma Mia. The, the guys who have done Mamma Mia for four years want to, want to go off to Yale Rep and be considered serious actors. We work with teams of people whom we love, but we don't have a chance to get tired of them because we don't have to work with them every day. We just cast a new company of Billy Elliot, so we were doing Billy Elliot auditions for about three weeks. But then the job is done for now. The next day, we're in Lee Mis land and we're listening to that music. So that, that's exciting too. So it's never the same.